What's going on guys? Welcome to 8-Bit Massacre and today we are talking about the Mega Everdrive Pro. This thing is what you want if you're a Sega fan, hands down. If you got a modded Sega Genesis especially, or a Mega SG, this thing is gonna be heaven. Uh, this thing not only supports Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive games, but you can play Master System and Sega CD, which makes this thing just the best. And so, standard Genesis cartridge with, you've got a mini USB port, the SD card slot, and then that little button is for if you're playing Sega CD games where you gotta change the disc. That's pretty cool, huh? And so, let's check this thing out. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so as you can see, I got all my folders set up on the Mega Everdrive Pro with my Genesis games, Master System, Sega CD. And uh, so first thing, I'm going to just bring up the main menu. Alright, you got your about. <laughs> Diagnostic check. If I click, it'll start doing it. So <laughs> you got the information on the device. Cheats. You got your game genie, built-in game genie list of recently played you can just easily jump right back to stuff you can kind of see some of the stuff i've been playing and then your basic options with most of these being pretty self-explanatory good stuff for you to set up how you want all right so first things first we'll just start with master system then go genesis then go sega cd going into master system games the first thing you want to bring up settings and you're gonna want to go to system hardware force three button mode if you're using a six button controller get rid of that and then we'll try out some ooh a last <laughs> we'll play some a last as you can see the um the Master System games, they'll add junk like the sides or top or bottom occasionally will just have like a colored bar. And you can um, use the settings like on the Mega SG to cut that off, but it's constantly changing screen to screen and game to game. It doesn't really bother me. And so I just leave that alone and, and just play it. But you can fix that if you want or leave it. Um, but once you're in the game, you can't really bring up. Um, the main menu, there's no save states, and you can't adjust anything in-game. You can just bounce uh, back out of the game. But, uh, this seems odd. Look, this looks beautiful. But you see the junk at the top and bottom, and there's the main. Um, so that's just something for you to think about. But you can adjust the, the colored bars. Okay. God, this looks good. Beautiful, beautiful. I will play some Sonic, some basic Sega, so you can see again. You can do cheats and stuff like that from here and then start, but... Like I said, once you're in-game, you can't really pull up any menus or do much of anything. You see the, the blue bar on the side of bottom, but... Yeah. This thing plays great. It feels responsive, no lag. Everything's crisp, colorful pops. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Alright, now that we're done with that, we will... Oops. We're gonna undo... Free button mode. <laughs> now we're gonna check out some Genesis games. Alright. Alright, let's check out some Castlevania Bloodlines. I love this game. It's an awesome Sega game. You know, you got your basic menu going in. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Looks beautiful, sounds beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Dope. Alright. 
Heck yeah. Plain, beautiful, responsive. Then if you bring up the menu, that's the ladder effect. If I if I bring up the menu while the music or sound is going, the ladder effect keeps. <laughs> that's my options. I, don't, I just ignore that. But yeah, you have save states, load states. You got 99 of them. Cheats, at reset, exit. You know, good stuff. Well, we're gonna play actually some Robocop versus Terminator real quick. <laughs> The music's awesome, the gameplay is good. And it's gory. Way better than the Super Nintendo version. Super Nintendo has the cool comic book cutscenes. This one just has text cutscenes, but... It has, um... This has the gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, just now you fight just thugs until you get to some terminators and then you fight them. This is what's up. All right, and now for the Sega CD. I think the Sega CD is very underrated. It gets a bad rep because of the full motion video games, but it's got a great library. Ever since I got this Mega Everdrive Pro, once I delved into the Sega CD library, I've been playing the crap out of it. I love it. Super underrated. Uh, so here we go. I don't have all the Sega CD games because I couldn't fit them all on my <laughs> the SD card I was using, but I have most almost all the best ones, I would say. So what are we going to check out? Alright, first thing source, let's check out some Lords of Thunder. I've played the Turbo Graphics version, but not the Sega CD version. Um, and real quick, we want to bring up audio. We want to... Enable cartridge and CD audio for Sega CD games. I basically have all my settings on a baseline for like Genesis games because there's really just like one setting you tweak for Master System and one setting you tweak for Sega CD. So I leave it on baseline for Genesis and when I play Master System I do three button controller. When I do CD I switch to the use cartridge and CD audio. Um, but like when you reset and everything, if you don't save your settings every time you change them, they revert. So I just keep a baseline and I change according to game. And once they revert, it's no big deal because it's the baseline. <laughs> and for US, Japan, and Europe, you got to get the BIOS for each one on the Mega Everdrive Pro to be able to play Sega CD games. Oh yeah, that CD audio. <laughs> we'll just play a little bit real quick. We can see how good it looks and sounds. There we go. Dude, this version has a different damage balance and stuff than um the Turbo Graphics. The the sword in this is OP. It is. A destroyer. And look how quickly it kills. So you want to be more aggressive and up in the faces of enemies in this version because look, boom, look how quickly we killed that fool. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. But in the Sega CD you can't, um, like the message and bring up any save states or menus once you're in you can only bounce out um, but that's no big deal i love being able to play these so. all right soul feast this is a, a shmup let's check it out <laughs> we'll play a random one i haven't played much of <laughs> i love shmups Soul Feast. I think it's also known as Soul Deece. <laughs> I don't know what either thing means. Alright. Ooh! This starts right into it! <laughs> Their bombs are just shooting. I think they're just shooting. Oh! 
What the? Okay. You gotta kill the host the night away. Oh! <laughs> Debris. Not that. I don't even know what I'm seeing half the time in this piece. Jeez. Hi. <laughs> this isn't bad. Oh! Just gonna go till I die. <laughs> this is a big ship. Like, how am I. Okay. How am I supposed to fit between things? <laughs> that was kind of good, though. I liked it. I'm gonna have to remember this one. Alright, guys, I love this thing. Like, I grew up a Nintendo kid and never had, like, very much access to a bunch of the Sega library and experience kind of what the other kids who had Sega's growing up experience. And now I finally get to with the, the combination of the Mega SG and the Mega Everdrive Pro. It's just... It's so good. I'm so addicted. I love it so much. I am I'm now so addicted to Everdrives and FPGA systems. Uh, uh, it's a whole new way to experience classic gaming that I just can't get enough of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it at least a little informative, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope y'all are having a good one.